One love, hey, one heart. Let's get together and feel alright. This is how we do it. Hey, hey, hey. This is how we do Fellas, it. Fellas, grab your, if you love hip hop. Hey, rub your, if you love big pop. No? You like that? Like that? Hey. Rub your butt if you like hip hop. <laughs> get out of here. Hi, curl friends. I'm back. It's naturally Shanice, your favorite curl friend and mom bestie, guiding you through your natural hair and your best mom We're going to jump right into this tutorial because I have not done a tutorial literally in months. Guys, I'm just trying to get my life together, okay? It's a pandemic. I cut my hair. And ever since I cut my hair, I really haven't been doing tutorials or YouTube videos. But I'm back. I want to show you guys how easy it is to do my hair and what I love most about short hair and my updated wash and go routine. So today I'm actually going to be showing you guys two looks, a curly look and then a laid down flat look. Bear with me because in full transparency, I really want to learn how to do like the soft waves. I haven't mastered them yet. So you're going to get like a sleek um pixie lay down look although my desire is to do waves okay. new products to share from the do um that i was gifted with and i've been using for a few weeks and i feel like now is the time for me to share one of which is big papa okay and then ooh, short hair don't care it's just got the the detail this is called the detail get it detail has a tail comb get into the details the do so nice. So yes, I got these two. And then one more new product from the do that I've been trying is this One Love. It's a co-wash. It's basically three steps in one. Cleanse, condition. Yeah, detangle, cleanse, and condition in one step. Okay. And I've been using this. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Open it up here. For the smell, it smells like cotton candy to me. Or bubble gum. It's a playful. Yeah, it's cotton candy. It's bubble gum. It's a nice little smell. If you like cotton candy and bubblegum, I guess. I, in full transparency, I really wouldn't use this if I had long hair. I would do each step, but because it's short and um, I love a good co-wash, especially with short hair, and I have to wash my hair, you know, I really have to wash my hair two or three times a week with the short hair to get the defined curls that I like or to get it to lay down. So a co-wash is perfect because it's not going to strip my hair. So now this is the second time that I'm going to go through. You'll notice a lot more suds this time, right? And a lot more lather. That's because all that product in there is now out of my hair. That's why I like to do it two times. I just feel like it makes for a better wash. Look at the difference. A whole bunch of lathering now. So because this is a three in one detangler conditioner, I'm just gonna take the detangle the detailing comb here, and I am going to start to detangle. Deep, I cleansed, I washed, and I conditioned all in one. Here are the results. And you guys know that I got blonde hair, so it's really important to take really good care of it. In my hands, and this has a completely different smell than the One Love. It's not sweet or bubble gummy at all. It's really fresh really clean i love it look how light it is you can barely see it on my hands so it's a very light conditioner but it packs a super strong hold and super strong moisture so i'm just going to take so i'm going to take the detail comb here whoop, whoop. look how easy short hair is like this is my favorite thing ever and did you guys notice I used the dime size amount? Another reason why I love short hair. Because a dime size amount really is a dime size amount. <laughs> a little goes a long way with the deuce foaming um, foam. I'm actually probably gonna put just a little bit more. Ooh, 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 we're gonna fix. Like I can't decide what I want to do. Like you see right here, I have this widow's peak. I don't know what it's called, but it literally will not let my part be great and it's so annoying.
love what the goo does with the names of their products. It's so cute and it's so on culture. Love it. Anyhow, so this is Big Papa. This is one of the Dew's latest products. This was sent to me as a gift in full transparency, but I have definitely been using it before um, coming on today and showing you guys how I use it. So in all honesty, love it. It First of all, you get, look how much you get. It's so much. You guys, it's super light. It smells super fresh. Um, let's see, it has aloe, honey, argan oil, and keratin in it. So you know that you are going to get a soft hold with this. Just some here on the lid. So I'm just gonna use this. And I'm gonna literally use just a little bit, like a quarter size amount, okay? So this is what I'm gonna use. And then I like to put it on my fingertips, just on my fingertips. And it's super light, look at that. I mean, can you guys even see that? It's really light. So it says for optimal results, prep hair with the mousse deaf texture foam, which I just did, and then apply to wet hair in sections, raking through your hair from root to ends. Air dry, diffuse, or do a hooded dryer. Today I'm going to be air drying, but I do have that easy look how easy this was like why did I ever have long hair again so much work so yeah I could leave it like this and be gone for the day but I'm not going to what I typically do literally nine times out of ten is I do spend a few minutes kind of just laying the hair down especially the size because I get kind of fuzzy here and I like for these to be super duper smooth so I'm just gonna take this wrap here and we're gonna wrap it around So this is the wet look, all right? We're smooth down here. My hair is super soft. We're nice and defined. We have some waves going on. Edges are soft and laid. Overall, super happy. And so this would be a really quick, just let's go, let's get out the house look. Now I'm gonna show you a different look, which is going to be my smooth down look. A comb right after I put the leave-in conditioner in there. So we're just gonna take this and I'm gonna take it from the side, do it a little bit different this time. And you can see that I have a live-in part. This is the tricky part, are these little tiny hairs that I have throughout here. Okay, we're gonna lay this down this way. Okay. And we are literally going to go to work. Take this, and I'm just gonna be smoothing. I'm not gonna use paper or anything. I'm not gonna use paper to help smooth down. That would probably help if you have the time and the patience. But I typically do this on the go, which is why you're not gonna see me use paper a lot. Maybe if I had like an event to go to a photo shoot or something, I would use paper. I'm literally going to be way more heavy handed than I was last time with the, with the just simple curls because I just wanted texture. But because I'm going to lay it down, I'm gonna use a little bit more. And I'm going to lay it down, laying down of the hair. So I would either add a scarf on top of here or just let it dry like this. The major, yeah, so you can see it's going to be laid here and then it's gonna be laid there. So I'm gonna brush it down 
one more time because ugh, I'm pressed. We're just going to do a little bit of touch-ups because I have these hairs in here that are super disrespectful to the lay down, like way disrespectful. Come in here. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to take this. We're literally just going to try our best because these just time to do it because obviously I'm not sitting I could sit under the dryer but I'm not a dryer person you guys so I'll just like walk around the house or sleep overnight in this and let the hair dry overnight that way um because I know you're gonna ask I got this scarf from Target believe it or not um it's a new day it's super cute so I can go out like this if I wanted to or um sit under the dryer I'm gonna show like this for I don't know an hour a good hour that's how long it should take I know okay bam oh she's sleek she's smooth I'm absolutely cool okay so if you get into the details here you guys remember that these hairs were struggling they are laid down smooth we're smooth throughout here right there and my hair is super soft too